Okay, so we're going to continue our lecture about frequency distribution table. Again, I'm going to add some more terms in our frequency distribution table. So as of now, this would be the set of our data. You can first do or complete a frequency distribution table up until variance and standard deviation before you again play the video. Okay, so this will be your frequency distribution table with the values for our mean median mode which is which is called the measures of central tendencies the variance and standard deviation which should be the measures of variation and the measures of position which is the one that i'm going to add and the last that we're going to add in our table now for the measures of position so measures of position is similar to median why because if you remember, I mentioned that median is called a positional value. So since it is a positional value, what we're looking for median is the center only. That's what we can find if we're going to solve for median. Now for measures of position, we can determine any position in the frequency distribution table. All right, so we have three kinds of measures of position. Q is what we call quartile, D is decile, and P is percentile. Now, for quartile, for quartile, the values there would be 1 to 4. All right? 1 to 4 only. Why? Because since it is by quartz, there are only four quarts to for us to have a hundred or one whole. Decile would be one to ten, and then percentile would be one to one hundred. So again, as I have mentioned a while ago, median. What we can find only for median is the center. But for quartile, decile, and percentile, we can find any position we like. So what do I mean by that? So the number beside the number beside Q, D, and P would be our K. Again, the the values here that I'm going to write would be given, and the values for Q. The number beside Q can only be from 1 up to 4. Decile would be 1 up to 10. And then percentile would be 1 up to 100. So, in the quartile, this is by 25s. Decile would be by 10s. And then percentile would be by 1s. So, that's the reason why there are 4, 10, and 100. Again, I repeat, for the median, this is the 50 yet percent all right median is the 50th percent now q1 would be the 25th all right 25th because it's q1 so 1 times 25 d7 would be the 70th percent and p92 would be the 92nd percent Now, in the formula for our measures of position of, un of group data, again, you can find this in the handouts. So what I'm going to do here is the formulas you're going to use in Excel. Now, since I again repeatedly say, say that measures of position is similar to median, it is because Q2 is equal to D5, is equal to P50, is equal to median. Alright? So, that's why, if you're going to observe, Q2, D5, P50 are the 58%, and that would be the median. So, meaning, the formula of median that we're doing is similar to the formula we're going to be doing in the measures of position. Alright? So, if you don't remember how median was 
was uh, computed, isn't it? What we're going to do first for median is we're going to get n over 2, right? And then we're going to look at increasing cumulative frequency. Comparing it to the values, we're going to take the next number higher compared to n divided by 2. So n divided by 2 would be 20. So that's the reason why this group would be called your median class interval because 23 is larger or greater than n divided by 2. Now, isn't it what we did in determining the value of your median? That would be the lower class boundary of the median class interval n divided by 2 minus the community frequency before, this is, this is it, divided by the frequency of the median class interval, and then multiply to i. Again, we're going to repeat the same process, but instead of using n divided by 2, why are we using n divided by 2? For median because we are getting the 50th percent. That's why it's n divided by 2. Here on kn, what we're going to do is not use 1 half times n or n divided by 2. For q1, what we're going to do is 1 divided by 4 multiplied to n. Why? The numerator is the number beside your Q, D, and P. The denominator would be, depending if it would be quartile, that would be 4. Decile would be 10. Percentile would be 100. And then you're going to multiply it to N. So this K for quartile would be 1 fourth. And then N is just multiplying to 40. Again, for D7, what I'm going to do is 7 divided by, yes, 10. Why is it 10? Because for decile, it would be 1 up to 10. And we're going to multiply it again to N. Now, for percentile, what we're going to do would be 92, the number beside P, and we're going to divide it, yes, by 100. And then multiply it to n. Now, what are these numbers? These numbers, these are the numbers we are going to compare on the increasing CF. So, since we are going to compare now this kn, we will now have, or this q, d, and 7 will now have their own class intervals. It would not be already called a median class interval, but it would be. It can be called as your Q1 interval, D7 interval, P92 interval. Now again, I got this KN by multiplying one fourth, one being the number beside Q, and four being since it's quartile, multiplying it to N. The value is 10. So what I'm going to do is that this now. This orange, this is where I can find my Q1. Okay, again, repeating the process, I got this 28 because I computed or I used 7, the number beside D, over 10 since it's decile, multiplied to N. Since this is equivalent to 28, what I'm going to use would be this interval. So the D7 interval would be found on the yellow. And then lastly for P92, 36.8. Again, I got this 36.8 by dividing 92, which is the number beside P, by 100. And then multiplying it to N. I got 36.8 and I'm going to get the next number higher, which is 37. So now that can be found on the blue. So you would observe now that they have their own 
intervals. Why is it so? It is because, as I have mentioned, median and measures of position are the same. So in solving for Q1, that would be LCB plus four grouping symbols. Instead of N divided by 2, that would be your KN, close, minus CF before of the orange, which is 9, divided by the frequency of the orange, multiplied to I, close, similar to median. Again, for D7, again, determining the interval is very important because that's where we're going to get the following. So the LCB of the yellow, four grouping symbols, KN, minus CF before the yellow, divided by the frequency of the yellow, and multiplying it to the class with. Lastly, for P92, that would be LCB of the blue plus four grouping symbols, KN minus CF before divided by the frequency and multiplying it to I. So now you would observe that I already have my values. Again, one way to check if these values are correct. The values that you're going to get should also fall where the Q1 interval is, right? So 114.3, yes, that value falls here on 113 to 121 group. 136.125, yes, it falls on the yellow interval. And 148.2, it falls here. But if you're going to observe it's higher, but because of this, class boundary, it's still included on this interval. Now, another way to check this is, since it is a positional value, so 1 is the lowest, 100 is the highest. So if you're going to observe these values, okay, if you're going to observe these four values, Q1 is... 114.3 or the 25th is 114.3 the 50th which is the median is 127.5 the 70th is this and the 92nd is this now if you're going to try to look at these values you would observe that it is in increasing order because since it is in position so the 25th should be the lowest among the four and then the 50th the 70th and the 92nd again this is just one way for us to check if the values that 